everyone, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We are here on um, Eos, I guess is the name of this planet. <coughs> About to explore it for the first time. Now, I apologize to you guys for the condition of my voice. I have a sore throat and a little bit of sniffles, so <laughs> my voice is kind of rough, so I apologize. Hopefully it doesn't bug you guys too much. Anyways, um, now, before we get to exploring, I uh, just wanted to level my character up. I noticed that I leveled, and I need to do that. So, um, <clears throat> I already leveled my squad, because I just started leveling my squad, and then realized I should probably wait and level my character um, when I'm recording. <laughs> Anyways, I need to get... <coughs> A certain number of, um, before I can get profiles, like for instance, the soldier profile, I need six skill points invested in combat, and six for engineer, you need six skill points invested in tech, oops, and so forth. Um, for infiltrator, you need three skill points each invested in combat and tech. Which actually looks kind of interesting. <coughs> but, I don't know. I'm more interested in soldier. I don't know, it's always been my favorite of the classes, soldier is, so I usually tend to go with soldier first, and then I try the other ones later. I mean, I'm already, I've am already i already got the vanguard pro pro profile, because that's what I started with. So... <coughs> And I really like the melee in this game. <laughs> anyway, so I thought I'd put some points into combat. <clears throat> just so I can get the combat profile. Now. Um, so I did Omni Grenade last time. And I was thinking of doing Trip Mine. <clears throat> that might be good. If we're in an area where enemies are pouring in through one location, you know, I can set trip mines there. Yeah. Um, it requires one power cell from trip mines, limited power cell supply, so it has a cell capacity of two. Power cell capacity of two, so it looks like I would only be able to uh, set two at a time? Or something, maybe? I don't know if that's what that means or not, but anyway. <clears throat> Let's get that. And then... I'd like to put some more... I'd like to put some... Uh, point into my health, because that's always important. <clears throat> What's combat tools? Plus 3% combat power damage. Let's put one point into that. Alright, here we go. Okay. So, I'm not sure how many pow- whoops. How many points do I have now total in combat? <coughs> Five, so I just need one more. And then I can get the soldier uh, profile. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to be probably clearing my throat a lot. And pausing to take a uh, drink, uh, drink because Anyway, all right, so let's explore. Oh, what's my objective, actually? My objective is search Site-1's main control building and clear atmospheric radiation somehow. Somehow I will just know how to do that. Plus, scan as much stuff as possible. Yeah. Oh, like this. This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment, such as your weapons and armor. Yep. I realized when I started my second playthrough with a female writer that I hadn't been scanning things enough with this character. Wow, I wonder what that is. That's kind of big. So... Well, I know our quest is that way, but I want to just 
see if there's any other places to go before we get there. Like, can I go inside here, for instance? It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Okay. Too long in this environment without power. Standard equipment. That's all we had to give them. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Okay, there's no power, but they have lights on. Interesting. Do I leave footprints? Oh, belated ones. <laughs> belated footprints. <clears throat> okay, well, let's turn on power then. Is that what's going to be inside here? Or is that the power generators? I don't know. <clears throat> There's a dish on the roof of this building. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. <laughs> So then, what do I get codes? Find a code to access the locked buildings. Okay, there's some open... There's an open building over there. I'm supposed to scan. I just got a little... Uh... No? There's nothing here to scan. <coughs> I got a little bump in my controller telling me to scan something. Oh, can I scan the water? No. Oh, I can scan this. Huh. Turbine generator not functional. But you get money and and and, and uh, stuff from scanning things. Huh? 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 Okay. Oh, excuse me, Liam. Oh. There's something here. <coughs> Data pad. Got a code lock key. That should help get us in. Okay, cool. What else is- is there anything else in here? Nope. Alright. Oh wait, there's a computer. Oh, play audio log, botany analysis. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Huh. Alrighty. Oh wait, can I scan these plants right here? Are these like dead plants? No. <coughs> okay. So there's really big storms then on this planet. There's a container. Standard issue out hab outpost habitat door. The door is not receiving power. A sorry com link. Main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Yep. Alright, let's open this log. Message for Nick <coughs> Thaniopoulos. Uh, people are talking here, saying that EOS isn't viable, that things aren't going like they expected. I think you should come back. I know what you're going to say. I'd sign up for the initiative to be s to stay trapped on a floating tin can. And I promise you can have your adventure. Later, when they've had more time to plan for your safety, Mom told me to make sure you don't get in over your head, and that's what I'm doing. At least think about it for me, and check in more often. I've started to adopt Mom's worry. 
already chewed through the nail of my pinky finger. It's up to you whether I keep the rest of my nails intact. Love you. Huh. <clears throat> Hello. Sorry to bug you again. I requested an update on Leah Wells a few days ago, and I haven't heard anything back. On my end, it looks like the message wasn't even opened. Is everything okay there? Get back to me as soon as you can and tell Leah to message me back. Huh. So they haven't been able to get a hold of anybody here. <clears throat> well, there is nobody here to get a hold of, it looks like. Huh. Oh, I can, I can scan that over there. Outpost power is set up to only accept commands for the power reading station. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So uh. we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. That one? Right outside the window there? There's a container. He's a shunt. Okay. Here's another terminal. Play audio log. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking, sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. Huh. Why is this... Oh, it's a container. Iron. All right. So I think we got everything we're going to get inside here. Now these um med kits <laughs> can't open them. <clears throat> like you can in uh I activated this one already, right? Yes. Okay, so we can't open that door until we go investigate the relay tower. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos' atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. <laughs> huh, okay. Is this the, uh, the tower? <clears throat> I don't know. Well, it says to go over there. Is that the tower? That must be the tower over there. Alright. We'll explore a little bit more on the way. Like, looking for containers to loot and stuff. Nickel. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, yes, there is yes. no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Got it. <laughs> Look. A glowing rock fluorite. Oh, okay. This door is open. Data pad. Personal log, Chief Lido. Lido? New entry. Specialist Kothari needs to stop navel gazing about the monoliths and whoever built them. <laughs> we need that we need that speculating mind of his. If it doesn't grow food, stop wind, or get special project Sigma done, it's not worth our time right now. His team is looking at the big structures and they'll do good work, but I tagged his runner just in case. Vehicle tracking code, Grace Delta 9. Okay. Another data pad. Another code, like we already found. Okie dokie. 
Elysium. Initiative armor. Okay. Standard issue. Armor. Legs. Armor legs. Okay. Oh! <coughs> that reminds me. I actually have... Um, where was it? Under armor. Another helmet. So this is the helmet I have on right now. And I have this helmet because I completed the Andrama Initiative um, um, online, uh, what's it called, training. And so I get this special helmet. But uh, I can't equip it in the field, so I gotta wait until I get back to the ship. Remember to equip it next time I come out. How come they're not wearing helmets? Can can I? How do I make them wear helmets? I mean, why aren't they and why am I? I'm wearing my helmet, but they're not wearing theirs. That's kind of weird. <coughs> okay, so this is the shield, I'm guessing, that keeps out the radiation. It doesn't seem to go all the way up. These shield masks are protecting against the radiation, but they're wearing out fast. Look at the batch numbers. The outpost burned through a bunch of them. Well, 7% functionality and failing. Within 72 hours. Wow. Okay. We better hurry up and, uh... Can I scan the Structure tree? Structure up ahead. Hmm? Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we'll know where to look for that signal. Okie dokie. The positioning of these is kind of strange. And the way that the which direction the door is facing is uh... Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, yeah. there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I know. Who just shot? Who just shot something? Huh? I don't know. I'm coming over here to look at this thing. No scannable stuff. Look at this weird tree. Look at that. That was a weird thing. Can't scan it. <clears throat> okay, so we gotta go up there. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. Who are you? So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Uh-huh. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. You're crazy. Though well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. All right. Okay. Activate the generators. <clears throat> Expect trouble when we start the generators. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Yeah? Got it? Over here somewhere. 
No, I have to scan that too. I scanned it. <coughs> okay. Why is there still a quest mark on it then? If I already I scanned it. Huh. I don't know. There's the other one. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Back up there? No. Um, there's too many quest markers. <sighs> Alright, let's just look at the map. This is... Um, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really tell me a lot. Well, let's go back up there anyways. So now what? Okay, come on. What? Activate the power pylons. So... Do I have to go up there? Whoops. Nope. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, bother. Am I supposed to? Yeah, I think I'm supposed to go up there. All right. All right. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he used his clearance to sneak off the station, make some credits on the side. Ballsy. So I have to... Why would they put the activators way up there and then not even have a ladder to get to them? Most people probably don't have jump jets. There. company. Enemies! Are they behind us too? Smoke clouds. Good one. One down. I should. They I were should. kidding about the cat. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. Okay. I want to see if any of them had loot on them. Sometimes the bad guy bodies, yeah, have loot. Cat seal it. Sell it merchants for credit, so it's all I can do with it, huh? Okay. Well, good. I'm glad it tells me which things I should sell and which things I should. I don't. Yeah. So I can go in the building now. Is that? Oh. Right. Thank you for reminding me. I need to restock my ammo. Okay. At least I can sprint farther than twenty feet. Oh. You and took I, down all those cat? 
Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Oh, he's a lot younger than I thought. Word of advice, be. though. If that signal of yours <laughs> is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. And you didn't take it? Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Uh, do you buy and sell? Don't suppose you've got anything we can use? Oh, cool. <clears throat> Alright, what's he got? He has... A Maddock Assault Rifle. Hmm. How does that compare with mine? Um... Can I compare? Oh, there it is. Which one's mine? <laughs> so, I guess... It's, uh... Got plus 20 damage over mine. But it has minus 50 rate of fire. It has... It's heavier than mine. Okay. What's this? A raptor. That's a sniper rifle. Okay. Cindy, I have incendiary ammo, I think, already. Shield capacitors boosts maximum shields, restores current shielding to the new maximum. Seems like I have some of these already, I know. I do. <coughs> now, stuff I could sell. Um. I know I had, uh, reconstituted components material. Sell at a merchant for credits. Overdrive pack. So, like, <coughs> I can't, um, like, I can't, uh, salvage this stuff like I can't get anything for this I can't seal it I can't crap use it for crafting is that what it's saying like for instance this one is a material but I don't know if I can make. see here's an omni gel canister so it says that they can be uh yeah <coughs> deconstructed huh all right well maybe i'll um sell something i'll sell this asari com link and i'll sell the uh uh, uh, reconstituted components. There. <laughs> just, just to do something. I, I'm not really concerned about doing anything. A ton right now. All right. Pow outpost power controls. Power relay controls. Power controls in standby mode. Press to activate. Power restored. We should have access to everything in site one now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site-1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. Yes. <coughs> that almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. All right. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. So the viability is now seven <coughs> percent. Scan containers to find a vehicle. Okay, it's in a container. Probably not this one. <laughs> Terrain calibration coil. 
Oh, where's Garrus when you need him, right? Garrus could use that. I just think Garrus is probably dead by now. I don't know how old Turians can live to be, but I don't know. I don't imagine they live as long as Asari. I don't remember them mentioning how long they live. Uh, Liara is still alive, though. So now we need to scan uh, vehicle-sized... I'm assuming vehicle-sized ones. Uh, containers. Because it's probably not in one of these little tiny containers. Let's, let's go down here where there's more containers. Alright. Oh look, it's just pointing me the way right now. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't like... I don't like quest marker. I wonder if I can turn them off. I don't like quest markers. They... They give it away and then there's there's no fun of discovering it myself, you know? Like I can run around and look at all of the containers myself and see which one's large enough. And look, there's tire tracks and everything. They give you plenty of clues as to where it could be, but no, there's gotta be a quest marker. I Special Requisition All Terrain Scout Rover. A nomad! Six wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. So shiny. This right. must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Call down a forward station. Oh, that is where I'm supposed to call it down to, huh? What? Uh, what is a, a good spot? Activating automated forward station deployment. Wow. Oh, I can change my loadout. Which means... Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Which means I can change my helmet. <coughs> I can change my helmet. Right? Yes. I like the look of this helmet better. I don't like the ones that have the glass all the way around the top of them. It looks funny to me. I don't understand why they have glass up there on the top of the head where you're not even looking out of it. So... I like this one. Yeah, that's better. Alright, so... Um, I don't really have anything new, so... Cool. Okay, and now there was something on the other side. A terminal? Forward station protocol initiated. Habitat 1 named EOS does not match initiative pre-flight profiles. Advanced predictives are no longer applicable. Parameters require 94% rework. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Multiple deployment coordination. Okay. Whatever. So what do I do with it now? Unlock the Nomad container. How do I do that, actually, though? There's not a button. Do I just... Now, can I just unlock it? Because I thought I had to do it from one of those things, but there wasn't an option to unlock the Nomad container. Oh, there's a keypad here. Okay. Cool. 
<laughs> Let's go get in it. <laughs> and I got a improved suspension blueprint added. So, okay. Enter vehicle. Ooh. No man, just handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Forward. Oh, no, that's the jet. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's odd. Oh, that is really odd. Okay, the controls are weird. Alright, so this is... Rockets. No man cannot be called in here. Restoring all health, power, and ammo cells. So if you go within the circle next to a forward thingy, my bobber, um, it restores all your health and whatnot. Okay. All right. How do I stop, or do I not stop? Current zone strength out of zone. Toggle mining computer. Launch mining drones. I don't want to launch a mining drone right now. Alright, hazardous environment. Okay, cool. It's not going very fast. Ah, I can't get traction. It's too steep. Oh. Switch to six wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. That's a bad... Those are, uh... Six-wheel drive. Like that? Oh, Got interesting. It. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. So, we shouldn't get out right here, then, because... Because, uh... Of the... Right. Except that there's, like... Minerals. I saw some of that fluorite back there. And stuff, so... Toggle mining computer. Yeah. Uh, R1 launches a mining drone. Uh, it's not, though. Oh, no! I didn't want to get <coughs> out. Uh... What was that? Um, does that like lock it down? Oh, I don't know what that does. Huh. Oh well, let's go. Safe condition. Well, okay, let's get out then. You guys, it's just really odd that you're not wearing helmets, and why aren't you? Huh. Okay. There's power. Conduits running. Everywhere. Huh. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. Where? Yeah. Is this <coughs> conduit? Huh, there's some light coming from... Oh, I can scan that. Explosion risk. Area effect freezing hazard. Susceptible to small weapons fire. Oh, interesting. Uh, polyadaptive capacitors. Theoretical. Okay, what's this? <coughs> Retractable blast shield. Okay. Alien device interface. Let's, uh... Interface with it, I guess. Oops. 
It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. <clears throat> okay. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Yes. Let's look for things to scan. I need to get up there. I'm not sure how. Maybe go up the scaffolding. I guess. The scaffolding that strangely doesn't have any ladders. I don't think I can get up there though. Oh, yes, I can. It's slippery, but there's a great view! Worth carrying heavy gear up there? Guess someone thought so. You should now be able to interface, Pathfinder. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? Oh, here. Huh. <clears throat> okay. Let's go. Interface. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Oh. Uh, hi. Back off, or I will push you down! <clears throat> Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. What? I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through <laughs> their channels. It's going to be alright. Trust me, okay? Um... I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Um, yes. Uh, what about you? <clears throat> are you for real? <laughs> you were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. The system has stabilized. Oh. I'm establishing a connection. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Power drain it. No. Nope. I know these things from Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Nice Keep shot. targeting that one! They make a little bot! They do what? No! There's one right there! Oh, cool. I got rid of his shields. had loot. Ah, uh. <clears throat> not bad. My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? the remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as Petey. Oh. Okay. Ryder, 
You've been studying this... remnant technology? What have you learned? Plenty. Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. <clears throat> Her face isn't as blue as it was when she first came into the scene. Okay. That seems convenient for you. <laughs> You're sure it'll help Eos? Or am I just a handy way to get those monoliths online? I'm a little offended by that, Ryder. <clears throat> uh-huh. <laughs> okay, maybe. But we both get what we want. Just try. It's not like we can make this planet worse. Well, she doesn't like making eye contact, does she? Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Okay. <clears throat> are the bodies gone? Oh man. They are. And they had loot. The one that was down there had loot. Or was it the one down there? Or was it the one down here? No, all the bodies are gone. No, oh, their remains are still there. Cool. Inorganic lubricant. Okay. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do now? <coughs> so, uh, <laughs> he wasn't really listening to their dialogue. Activate the remnant monolith. So I have done one. I need to do the other two. Somehow, and do I have to go up there to do it? Or yes. How do I do it? Huh. Interesting. Uh, let's look at the map. Okay. What is this? Oh, there's memory triggers over here. There's a research station. That's where the Normandy is. There's also another quest over there. Oh, there's the pendant that we need to find. Right. Yes, yes. And what's this? <coughs> Something. There's a place where we can put a forward station. Activate the remnant monolith. Oh, okay, so we need to drive... Um, other places. I get it. Okay, there's another one. Alright. Let's uh, mark that one. I think that one would be probably the closest. Um, know what? I didn't mark it. I just actually unmarked it. Okie dokie then. Where are we? This is where we are. And I need to go here. There. Okay. Wait, first I want to go over here where this memory trigger is. It's closer. <coughs> I wonder, is it outside the zone, though? Yes, it is. So. Let's, uh... Get back in. Okay, the button I have to push to actually drive this thing is really odd. I've never had radiation levels increasing. There it is, right over there, the memory trigger. I I ran over the thing. Do I have to get out to do it? I think I do. You don't have your helmet on. There we go. Okay. Sam, another memory prompt? 
Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional can triggers are up? required. Uh, how do you, can I back up? I can't back up. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> I can turn around this way. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now I need to go over here and then to this one. Yes. Okay. And what's this? I don't know what that is. We'll have to go over there too. But, um, so there's a big thing of water down there. That's. All right, there's a big lake down there. All right. Oh. Can I just... I don't know if that is how I'm supposed to do it. I love that this isn't as bouncy. Levels within acceptable limits. I love that it's not <clears throat> bouncy like the... like. There's a body right there. A colonist from Site 1. Radiation cutter. We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Avante, Teague, and C. And get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If she's got family, they deserve closure. We'll give them more than closure. We'll finish what she started. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go.